Hello everyone, Emp here. Today I want to talk about fungus. And I know I'm a Ren Pie girl, but um, I've been experimenting with fungus lately and I want to talk about the pros and cons of each so that if you're looking at visual novel engines and you're trying to figure out which one to use, you can make a more informed decision. Um, so some common pros, both of them allow you to create a fully featured visual novel with variables, branching routes, different endings, things like that. Both allow to you to export your visual novel to various platforms. So Unity obviously allows you to do a little bit more, but um, RunPy has several uh, possibilities as well. Both allow for localizations and translations and both are free. So both are very good options no matter which one you choose. Some RenPy pros that I've found that Fungus can't really keep up with RenPy in these areas are transitions. Um, fungus does have move transitions and fading, but they do not have dissolve and a couple others which are... Um, dissolve is really the big one, but that's one of the most commonly used transitions I've seen in RenPy, so it's very, very useful and very, very well used, and it's not in Fungus. Second thing, what file you put things in does not matter. You can put um, your labels and organize things however you want, and it's just generally a little bit more flexible. Third thing is I find it a lot faster to code in RenPy than I do to do things manually in Fungus. And this is part of the reason why I don't have an example to show you in Fungus at the moment, because this next thing here is that these there are these screens that are immediately available when you create a project, like your main menu, your preferences, your save and load, things like that are automatically that you're used to having. They're just there, and Fungus does not have them. You would have to create those yourself and do all the setup. Uh, variables can be of any type. Fungus is getting better at this, so um, this may change in the future, but RenPy you can have variables of literally any type. And of course you can use whatever text editor you like. Some cons for RenPy is that it has a higher learning curve for beginners, not for the advanced usage. RenPy has what I like to think as it has a learning curve for beginners because it's actual scripting as opposed to doing things visually. But once you get over that initial hurdle, everything else becomes much easier to learn because you've already got the fundamental background you need. So that being said, it's not as intuitive for visual learners because it doesn't have the flowchart mechanism that um, Fungus has. There's no live 2D support. Uh, I know Tom is working on that, but they do have something called movie sprites, which are pretty cool, and um, I can talk about those at another time. And the one of the big ones is you can't see the errors until you actually start running things. So Fungus has a flowchart approach that allows you to graphically see your VN in play. And that's not just looking at it when you're in the scene view. In play, it will actually highlight what is currently being executed. They have some pretty easy drag drop support. They have some official tutorials for that. They have some pretty easy camera shifting support, which RenPy really doesn't have. Blocks can be activated by a number of triggers, so button presses, clicks on sprites, um, key presses probably, I'm not sure, I haven't explored that fully, but there are more things that can trigger something, so it can be message passing and all sorts of things like that. Um, in Fungus itself, you can auto-generate some sound effects, it has that for you. Um, so that's pretty neat. It will also show you syntax errors, and by syntax errors I mean errors that will keep the program from running properly. It'll show them to you immediately in the block or whatever without you having to play the game, so that's very nice. 
and it will work with live 2D animations. Um, it takes a little bit of finessing, but it's doable. Uh, and it the results are pretty nice. So some cons about Fungus. It has a less flexible less flexibility because you have to do everything with the UI. When you get to the really advanced usage, like trying to extend things, um, you have to have a higher learning curve for that. When you are making things, you have to manually place and or move everything unless you're using Fungus Lua. So that takes a bit longer. You have to tie everything together. So you have to say, well, this I want it to do on this particular sprite or whatever. And instead of just being able to type in the name, you have to drag the object or select it from a menu option. It's just, it's not that big a deal, but it does add time to your workflow. Um, this if statements must have an end command. If you're used to programming in, in languages that don't require this, it's probably going to trip you up because I know it tripped me up when I first started playing with it. Uh, and it's, but it, it, it's not, you know, a deal breaker, but it, you'll end up with some errors and you'll like be like, why is this not working and stuff like that. And then you'll realize, oh, I forgot to put an end command in there. Okay, so if you have a regular jump from some place to, to another place, jumps have to be within the same block. There is a call to go from block to block in the flowchart or even to a separate flowchart. Yes, you can have more than one flowchart. But um, there's... But plain old jumping to an arbitrary place has to be in the same block. So you can only start a block from when you go from block to block you can only start in the beginning so that's and then of course the really big one is you have to create everything yourself save menu start menu everything like that um you have to make that yourself and that's why i don't have an example for you right now because that would take me a while to have an equivalent uh set of ui that would that RenPy can automatically produce and allow you to edit pretty flexibly. Um, obviously, there is more overall flexibility for UI be with Fungus Unity because you can. It is still in Unity, just with Fungus Elements, but you have to do everything manually. You have to do everything yourself. You have to tie everything together. So. Um, my conclusions overall are that while I'm pretty impressed with what Fungus can do, and there are some really super awesome things that it can do, it takes longer to create things with it. And um, it also just doesn't feel as complete yet. For instance, their save functionality is um, still in beta. And it's far reduced compared to what RunPy can do. For instance, it does it only has like one slot. Um, but so I I'm gonna stick with RunPy. I might end up doing some fungus tutorials if people really want me to. But um, when it comes to my development, I think for the most part I'm still gonna sw stick with RunPy. Okay, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I hope to see you next time.